Monday, July 16th. We're staying here at the Red Roof Inn in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And it's a great location because you got Domino's and McDonald's right here. So, we're staying two nights here because we're in Hershey today. And we're gonna stay the night and drive up to Knoebels tomorrow. So we are set because we got good eats. We made it to Hershey Park. Um, there's a lot of people here. Well, this is kind of a plaza. It's got a lot of different things here. But we'll see how the lines are today. It's almost 10 o'clock, park's gonna open pretty soon. And we are waiting in line for security. I just, just got off a sky rush, and uh, I don't get it. I really don't. The, the worst, the worst trains ever. I got a wing seat in the back row, and it was super rattly. I'll try it again later, but uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't think this rides for me. Sky rush again, second time, and the last time. I think everyone agrees on that. No more sky rush. Whoever designed those trains should not be allowed to design roller coasters or roller coaster trains. Sky rush, not good. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. It's 6:10 on Monday, July 16th, and we are leaving Hershey Park. We rode all 10, actually 12 coasters. And Jim has a new least favorite coaster, other than Green Lantern. He hated Sky Rush. We are going up to Knoebels tomorrow in the morning and then Dorney in the evening. So Jim's trying to find beer. And uh, Walmart didn't have it. And Aldi didn't have it. So um, keep looking and looking. And then we finally found a place called Beer Zoo. So uh, probably gonna find a few beers there. Yeah, I think this will do. It's Tuesday, July 17th, and we are still in Hershey, but we're heading up to Knoebels, and this is the 14th day of the trip, and this is the first day we've actually had to worry about weather. It's supposed to have thunderstorms today, pretty much all across the East Coast. Uh, right now, it looks okay. Um, Knoebels opens in about an hour and 45 minutes, and it's a little bit north east of here, so we will see how that goes. Hopefully we can squeeze some rides in before the storm comes. Here comes the rain. We're in the middle of nowhere, but we see a Knoebel sign. We're about 40 minutes away. And we're about 15 minutes away, and that looks like it's getting worse. Uh, this is getting worse. We are less, oh, just about a mile away from the park. The rain let up from that one crazy patch. All right, we made it. It's not raining too hard right now. Park opens in a few minutes. So hopefully it holds out just for a few more minutes just so we can ride our stuff. <sighs> Weather looks okay, we bought our tickets and we are about ready to ride one of my bucket list coasters. Phoenix. So here at Knoebels, we rode the Phoenix, and we rode Twister. And Phoenix, the weather was okay, it wasn't raining that much. But on Twister, from the time we got into the station, to the time we got back in the station, the rain just started coming down like crazy. I got myself an expensive umbrella. So we are leaving Knoebels, and it is, um, yeah, and the rain just kind of kept coming down. So we're gonna say goodbye to Knoebels, and we're gonna head off to Dorney Park. 
see how the weather is there. Ethan, we are driving into the abyss. Well, we made it to Dorney Park. It's about four o'clock. It's been kind of a chaotic day with the rain. The rides were shut down earlier for the rain, but it looks like they're all up and running now. And the rain is really not that strong. It's about 6.30 here at Dorney Park. The weather looks good, although the forecast says the rain might come back later. But as of now, the weather looks good, and there really couldn't be any less people here. So we had a pretty good day at Dorney Park. Uh, the rain really wasn't a factor the entire time we were here. It is absolutely pouring right now, so yeah, we didn't really ride any coasters here in the rain. Head back to the hotel in Allentown, and we will be going to Lake Compounds tomorrow. I missed the sign, but we were in Pennsylvania so long that I forgot that we were crossing over the river. And we are now in the great state of New Jersey. We are actually gonna be in five states today. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. We haven't been in New Jersey very long, probably about an hour. We were just passing through. So right now we are going back into the state of New Exit York. Right to South. We've been in New York for about less than an hour, but we're already ready to cross into our fourth state of the day, but not our last. We are now in Connecticut. We're here at Lake Compound. Here on Wednesday, July 18th home of one of my bucket list coasters, Older Dash, which is not up right now. It hasn't been up the entire day. They have said that it's probably gonna open later. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down to Quasi, go ride Wooden Warrior, and then we're gonna come back here later and hopefully get a ride on this. <laughs> We spent maybe about 30 minutes here at Quasi. We got to ride Wooden Warrior. And now we are headed back to Lake Compounds, which is about 30 minutes away. And we will try to see if Boulder Dash is open. It's a little after six here on Wednesday, and we are back. It's open, it's open, it's open, it's open. It's almost eight o'clock at Lake Compounds on Wednesday, July 18th, and I rode, I rode one of my bucket list coasters, Boulder Dash. And it was interesting. It, was, it reminded me a bit of the beast. So we are headed out of Lake Compounds because it closes in about five minutes. And we are headed up to Six Flags, New England tonight. It's Thursday morning, July 19th. We are entering Agawam, Massachusetts. And Six Flags is coming up, and we are across the border of Massachusetts. It's a little after 10 o'clock here on Thursday, July 19th. We are here at Six Flags, New England. Woo! Six Flags New England. We had a pretty good day. We In rode miles. all the roller coasters. Turn left on Hazard Avenue. Except for Goliath, which was closed. So we are headed out of Massachusetts. We barely were here. So we're headed down to New Jersey. And tomorrow we are going to hit Six Flags Great Adventure. Back in Connecticut. That didn't take long. In the New York City. You can see the signs for Manhattan and Queens. And you can see the Manhattan skyline. Stay to the right to East 161 Street, Yankee Stadium, McCombs Dam Bridge. 
Who wants to go to Yankee Stadium? All right, everybody. Welcome to New Jersey, New Jersey Turnpike. So pretty much, you know, welcome to Jersey. You know, give us money. It's Friday, July 20th. We've arrived at Six Flags Great Adventure. And I saw El Toro just go. We are going to ride one of the best coasters in the world today. We're also going to ride the tallest coaster in the world, King of Ka, which is also running. So it's almost noon. We got here a little late. But we are going to get a Platinum Flash Pass, and we are going to hit this park hard. This is one of the best parks in the country. <laughs> So it is Friday night, July 20th, and we left Great Adventure. I forgot to do a video at the park, but we are here at Walmart. We need to get some stuff. And over here you see the Dollar Tree. That is my place right there. So it was kind of a chaotic day. We didn't have a lot of time at the park. Um, I got five rides on, on El Toro though, because we had the flash pass. So the rain's gonna come in tomorrow. We'll see how that affects our King's Dominion and Busch Gardens weekend. But as of now, it looks good. So it's Saturday morning. It's a little bit too early for everybody. And we are headed into King's Dominion today. And probably right to the teeth of a rainstorm, which if we play our cards right, will be cleared up by the time we actually get there. So let's see how that works out for us. We're about to leave New Jersey. Thank God. We've probably spent like 40 bucks in tolls. So we're saying goodbye to New Jersey. We are crossing the Delaware Memorial Bridge where we'll be in Delaware for all about 15 seconds. So there's, there's something just so inefficient about tolls. I mean, look at this backup. All because they need to take four bucks from every single person that crossed that bridge. Goodbye, New Jersey. Hello, Delaware. What are we greeted with in Delaware? Another toll. Awesome. We're in Delaware, about three and a half hours from the park, and this is the storm that we expected to hit. It is raining hard. We're still hoping that by the time we get there, the rain will be gone. Well, we're saying goodbye to Delaware, and we are crossing into Maryland right now. Across the Potomac, and we are now in Virginia, which is the right state. This is the state we actually need to be in to get to King's Dominion. So it took us a while, but we are here. So we're, we've been on the road for uh, like seven hours or so now, and it's just it's just a slog. It's almost 6:30. King's Dominion is closing early today because of the weather, and. Uh, so we have about maybe an hour and a half to ride stuff here. So let's make the most of it. After a rainstorm and about 90 minutes left for the park to be open, this place is empty. It's about 8 o'clock on Saturday, July 21st. We are leaving a very empty King's Dominion. So we are headed out and we will be back tomorrow. So we are going to have to cut Bush Gardens out of the plans. So we will not be going there tomorrow as we planned. We will be headed back right here to King's Dominion. And there's going to be some thunderstorms tomorrow so we will stay as long as they will let us stay. And it's off to Carowinds. Well, it's Sunday, July 20th. Second, and we should be at Bush Gardens today, but we're not. We are at King's Dominion. As you can see, it is raining again, but uh, it shouldn't be raining all day. 
and hopefully we can get in some rides. We got an Intimidator and a Dominator yesterday, but hopefully today we can get in Twisted Timbers. So that's our goal. Let's see how it works out. So it's, it's a little after noon or so at, here at King's Dominion. And um, the rain stopped and there's clouds everywhere. But if you look straight ahead, it's nice and sunny. Well, it's about 1.30 and as you can see, it's a really nice day here. And the park is absolutely empty. So it's about 2.30 here on Sunday and we are leaving King's Dominion. Just, you know, we had a really good day here. We got on Twisted Timber six times. Literally everything was a walk-on. It was like nothing had a line today. And we are getting out of here in time to get down to Charlotte. And if Jim says it's okay, maybe we could slip into Carowinds tonight for a quick night ride on Fury. I feel like Carl's Jr. is a different name out here. Hard. Well, so much for our sunny skies. It's been fun, Virginia, but we are leaving. We are going to North Carolina. So we're about 60 miles from Carowinds, and it's, supposedly it's nice there, but uh, right here it doesn't look so good. Yep, it is Sunday night. It's almost 8.30. We'll close at 10, and what's that I see? That is Fury 325. So we are crossing over into South Carolina to get to Carowinds. So it's about a few minutes before the park closes and it's Sunday night and we got to ride Fury 325 in the back row with tons of airtime room without getting off. Five times in a row. Then we went back for two more times after we had to get off. Second to back row. Welcome to my top 10 Fury 325. We'll be back tomorrow.